We had breaking news that the UT student population had died early this morning, the reason being meningitis. We believe that this epidemic has spread across campus because of its contagious nature, and right now we are speaking with a nurse that works at the university and a parent of one of the deceased students. I just talked to my daughter yesterday. It doesn't make sense that she's dead now. Well, meningitis is a very fast-acting disease and originally presents flu-like symptoms. Yesterday, I saw many students who came in with symptoms of fatigue, dizziness, coughing, and sneezing. But in the next few hours, many of them have died. Even if the disease is not fatal, there are serious side effects such as brain damage, limb amputation, stroke, and seizures. But a vaccine wouldn't help. Actually, the vaccine is effective in 90% of the students who receive it. The only risk from the vaccine are simple swelling, swelling or redness from the actual injection shot and possible headache. But for the most part, there really are no serious allergic reactions unless you do have hypersensitivity to any ingredient in the vaccine. Well, I'm 60 years old and I've never got a shot in my life. Students are at a much higher risk for contracting the disease because of how contagious it is. The disease is transmitted through coughing, sneezing, or kissing. Ever shots aren't always good though. They can lead to other illnesses. Vaccination is a very safe and effective method of immunization for a specific disease. In fact, the individuals who did get their vaccination shot, like the Texas state law mandates, were not affected by this outbreak.